Today, let's embark on an exploration of Freud's revolutionary insights, which have reshaped our understanding of the human psyche, revealing the hidden forces behind our behaviors and thoughts. Libido and Psychosexual Development have you ever wondered what drives your deepest desires and shapes your decisions? Freud unveiled the concept of libido as more than just a sexual energy. He saw it as the main engine behind our psychological growth. He argued that this force extends its influence beyond our sexual behavior, impacting our personalities and decision making with the notion the libido of our sexual instincts can do more than just make itself felt in the sexual field. It can also influence our mental life in other directions. Through his exploration of of our journey from infancy to adulthood, Freud identified key emotional and psychological milestones essential for our development. He emphasized the goal of achieving a healthy balance in life, encapsulated in the idea that a healthy adult is one who can love and work. This vision highlights the importance of successfully navigating early life challenges to find satisfaction in both personal relationships and professional endeavors. Freud also pointed out the lasting influence of our earliest experiences on our adult lives with the insight the child is father to the man. This suggests that understanding and addressing our childhood experiences is crucial for overcoming present-day psychological obstacles, offering a pathway to deeper self-awareness and growth. In our contemporary era, Freud's perspective on how formative experiences mold our desires, relationships, and identities provide a valuable lens for self-exploration. Despite some debates over his theories, the practice of looking inward to discover the motivations behind our behaviors remains a foundation foundational aspect of psychological inquiry. The id, ego, and superego, the structure of personality. Ever felt torn between a wild impulse, a rational decision, and what you should do? Freud's groundbreaking model of the human mind, divided into the id, ego, and superego, explains just that. He described it as an internal battle, stating, The ego represents what we call reason and sanity, in contrast to the id, which contains the passion. This framework shows us the ongoing tug-of-war between our primal desires, the voice of reason, and the pressures of societal standards. At the core is the id, driven by the pleasure principle. Always seeking immediate gratification. Freud depicted the id as the dark, inaccessible part of our personality, operating unconsciously and filled with our most basic drives and instincts. On the other hand, the ego, which operates under the reality principle, attempts to mediate between the id's demands and the real world's challenges. Freud famously said, the ego is not master in its own house, highlighting the struggle of balancing these internal and external demands. The superego, emerging from the ego, acts as our moral compass, Influenced by societal norms and parental guidance, it strives for perfection, often clashing with the id's desires. Freud viewed the superego as the vehicle of the ego ideals by which the ego measures its conduct, underscoring its role in shaping our ethical behavior. Freud's model not only sheds light on the complexity of human behavior, but also emphasizes the importance of self-awareness in understanding the force that drives us. Where id was, their ego shall be, he proposed, suggesting that through psychoanalytic therapy, we can achieve greater greater control over our unconscious impulses, leading to a more balanced and fulfilling life. In today's fast-paced world, this understanding of our inner dynamics can be incredibly empowering, offering insights into managing desires, making informed decisions, and navigating the moral dilemmas of modern life. Repression and the Return of the Repressed have you ever forgotten something only to have it pop up at the most unexpected moment? Freud's concept of repression explains this phenomena as our mind's way of pushing uncomfortable thoughts and desires into the unconscious, keeping them out of our immediate awareness. He described repression as the psychic mechanism that turns something away and keeps it at a distance from the conscious. But here's the twist. What's repressed doesn't just disappear. It continues to influence us from the shadows of our mind. Freud revealed, the repressed does not cease to exist. It is merely forced into the unconscious where it exerts a constant influence. This means those forgotten desires and unresolved conflicts can resurface, often in unexpected ways, such as in our dreams, slips of the tongue, or certain behaviors. It's like our psyche's way of sending us signals about what's lurking beneath the surface. Moreover, Freud championed the idea that bringing these repressed memories and desires to light, what he called the talking cure, can be transformative. He believed that by confronting and understanding our unconscious material, we can 
continue to work through our internal conflicts, leading to psychological relief and self-discovery. One day, in retrospect, the years of struggle will strike you as the most beautiful, Freud suggested, highlighting the potential for personal growth through self-exploration. Recognizing and addressing the repressed aspects of our psyche can unlock pathways to healing and personal development, encouraging us to face our inner challenges and embrace our complexity. The Power of Dream Messages from the Unconscious have you ever woken up from a dream that felt so real it left you pondering its meaning for days? Freud, often hailed as the father of dream analysis, believed that dreams are windows to our unconscious, revealing desires and fears we're not aware of during our waking hours. He called dreams the royal road to the unconscious, a direct path to the deepest parts of ourselves. Freud saw every dream as a form of wish fulfillment, where our repressed desires find a way to express themselves. Dreams are often most profound when they seem the most crazy, he remarked, suggesting that even the most bizarre dream scenes carry significant meaning waiting to be decoded. Through dream analysis, Freud proposed that we could uncover hidden truths about ourselves by examining both the manifest content, the actual storyline of the dream, and the latent content, the hidden psychological meaning. We unlock insights into our innermost desires and conflicts. The dream is the liberation of the spirit from the pressure of external nature, a detachment of the soul from the fetters of matter, he believed, emphasizing the enlightening potential of understanding our dream. Paying attention to our dreams can offer invaluable insights into our subconscious mind, guiding us towards self-discovery and emotional healing. Defense Mechanisms Protecting the Ego Ever found yourself justifying a mistake with excuses or blaming someone else for something you did? This is your mind in action, deploying defense mechanisms to protect your ego from anxiety and guilt. Freud introduced the concept of defense mechanisms as the ego's way of reducing stress by distorting reality. He insightfully noted, The ego is first and foremost a bodily ego. It is not merely a surface entity, but is itself the projection of a surface. Among the various defense mechanisms Freud identified, some of the most common include repression, pushing threatening thoughts out of the consciousness, denial, refusing to acknowledge unpleasant realities, and projection, attributing one's own unacceptable desires to others. Freud observed, he who has eyes to see and ears to hear may convince himself that no mortal can keep a secret. If his lips are silent, he chatters with his fingertips. Betrayal oozes out of him at every pore, highlighting how these unconscious processes often reveal themselves. For example, by understanding projection, we can recognize when we're unfairly attributed our flaws or feelings to others, offering a chance for self-reflection and growth. Freud's exploration of defense mechanisms provides a map for navigating our internal world, helping us understand how we cope with life's challenges and how we might do so more healthily. In our current era, with its heightened awareness of mental health, Freud's theories on defense mechanisms offer valuable insights. Recognizing these unconscious strategies not only helps us understand our behavior and emotions, but also guides us toward more authentic and fulfilling relationships with ourselves and others. By becoming aware of these protective measures, we can confront our vulnerabilities, leading to a stronger, more resilient sense of self. Freud's work reminds us that the journey to self-awareness involves uncovering and understanding the subtle, often unconscious ways we navigate our emotional landscape. It's a testament to the enduring power of psychoanalytic thought in illuminating the paths to personal development and emotional well-being. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it and want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you next time.